So give thanks to Allah. Please say Alhamdulillah. Then I will take you to Surah Al Luqman. حملته أمه وهنا على وهن وفصاله في عامين أن اشكر لي ولوالديك إلي المصير أن اشكر لي We spoke about giving thanks to Allah Thanking Allah for everything Now ولوالديك Give thanks to your parents Allah is commanding you and I to always thank him, to thank our parents. Mother, very important. Father, very important. Allah is reminding you and I and commanding you and I to always remember. Always remember to take care of your parents. And from here I say, please take care of them before you lose them. Because whenever you lose them, you will never get them again. Any time I'm about to talk about a mother, about mothers, I remember my mother. I lost five months ago. It's not easy. It's not. Every Friday, Before I go give khutbah, I will call her and say, please pray for me. Please. Every Friday I call my mother, I'm going to give khutbah, I need your prayers. She said, go, may Allah bless you and make it easy. I say, ameen. Wallahi al-azim, today when I took my key, I was talking to my wife saying, I'm leaving. I stood by the door, I remember my mother. Even if I call, she cannot answer. So take care of your parents before you lose them. Do not play with your mother. Always give them the maximum respect they deserve. Listen to Allah. وَإِذْ أَخَذْنَا مِثَاقَ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ لَا تَعْبُدُونَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا <coughs> When we took the covenant with the children of Israel that worship none except Allah and be dutiful to your parents Be kind to your parents. If you have them around, don't play with it. Never argue with them. Always say, okay. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. You don't know when you're going to lose them. Surah An-Nisa. Wa'abudu Allah. وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And worship Allah, do not associate a partner to Him. وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And be dutiful, be kind to your parents. Don't play with it. قُلْ تَعَالَوْ أَتْلُ مَا حَرَّمَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَيْكُمْ أَلَّا تُشْرِقُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا سورة الأنعام قُلْ تَعَالَوْ أَتْلُ مَا حَرَّمَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَيْكُمْ Come, let me recite what your Lord has forbidden you to do. أَلَّا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا That worship them but Him. Do not associate a partner to Him. وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And be kind to your parents. Please, never play with them. Give them the maximum respect they deserve. Didn't you hear what Allah said in Surah Al-Luqman? حَمَلَتْهُ أُمُّهُ وَهْنًا عَلَى وَهْنٍ وَفِصَالُهُ فِي عَمَيْنٍ His mother carried him in her womb. 
hardship upon hardship and waited him breastfeeding him for two years and he surely thank me your creator wali walidayk ay your parents this is what allah said parents are very important my brothers and sisters and to the kids who are here please respect your parents no one loves you more than them your parents love you so if they tell you to do something it's because of love whatever your mother will tell you to do is for your own good so please respect your mom the kids never talk back to your mom please if you want god to bless you you don't talk back to mommy you don't talk back to daddy when mommy talk he said okay mommy why did you do it i'm sorry mommy please forgive me this is how you speak to mom never bang the door leave me alone to your mom if you say that god is not gonna bless you and if you say to your mom leave me alone god will leave you alone so you respect those parents even if they're not muslim always ask them to pray for you go to surah isra وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّا And your Lord has decreed that worship none but Him. وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And be kind to your parents. إِمَّا يَبْلُغَ النَّ عِنْدَكَ الْكِبَرَ أَحَدُهُمَا أَوْ كِلِيهُمَا أو كلاهما فلا تقل لهما أف فلا تقل لهما أف فلا تقل لهما أف فلا تقل لهما أف ولا ولا تلهرهما. Our scholars said لو كان هناك كلمة أقل من كلمة أف لنها الله عنها. Allah said, do not say to your mom, just look at me. Ah. Ah. Like you're tired. You see this little word? Allah said, do not say it to your parents. Our scholars say, if there were any word, if there, is, if, if there was any word that is smaller than ah, of, Allah would have prohibited us not to say it to our parents. So you don't talk back to them and to the young man my brothers and sisters those who maybe the mother is back home you call her when you call her and she says something do not hang the phone on your mom because you are the one sending money every month now for her to eat so your mom is afraid to talk to you your mom is scared to talk to you because now you give her money to eat and you think you own the whole family you talk to your mom how you want you don't do that to your mom you can never pay her you can never pay your mom so never hang the phone because some of the youth today their parents are scared to talk to them do you know that if your mother is scared to talk to you then you are in trouble you are in big trouble always let your parents feel at home let your mother feel at home when she's talking to you let your father feel at home when you are talking to them please respect your parents so allah said to thank him and thank our parents And quickly, quickly, in five minutes. Do the children have rights upon their parents? 
Yes, 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 they do. The children, they have rights also upon their parents. They do. Umar radiyallahu an was asked, ما حق الأبناء على الآباء What is the right of the children upon their parents? Listen to what Umar Ali, Umar, Umar رضي الله عنه said. Listen to what Umar رضي الله عنه said. أي يختار أمه Number one. To choose a good mother for your son, for your daughter. Choose a mother who is good. For your, for, your, for your children. The woman that you want to marry, is she good? Or oh, she's just beautiful? That's why you like her. Or oh, she's from a big home. Or oh, because she's rich. Or oh, because she is religious. Which one is it? As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Sallu alayhi wa sallam wa sallam wa sallam wa sallam First, Because today, some people want to marry because of beauty. She is beautiful. MashaAllah. Good. It's good to marry a beautiful woman. But ask yourself, is she religious? Because she is going to be the mother of your children. Just look at that woman and ask yourself. Okay, if Allah bless, if I marry this woman and Allah bless us with children, can she take care of my children Islamically? Is she religious? The Prophet advised us, marry the one who is religious. Because if the, prayer, if the woman is religious, she will have the fear of Allah. She will raise your children the way they're supposed to be raised. But if you marry only beauty, you will see beauty. But if Allah gave you everything, she's beautiful, she got everything and she got the deed. Bismillah, mashallah. May Allah bless the marriage. But always make sure you go for the deed. Please, because of your children. Said Naomar radiallahu anhu said, and to give that child a good name. Good name. The third one he said, and to teach him Al Kitab, Al Quran. Today, we give more importance to Western education than the Islamic education. We give more importance to Western education than Islamic education. Brother, Western education is very good. But remember, it's anti-Nafid dunya. But the Islamic education is both here in this dunya and hereafter. So give them everything. Let them know that the way they go to school, the school is important. Quran is more important. Today our children go to Arabic, Islamic school only Saturday and Sunday. Only Saturday and Sunday. And we expect them to be good Muslims only Saturday and Sunday. How? So we have to think twice and fix this in all our communities let those children know that Quran is more important than the Western education yes we want our children to be good because when you give them the Quran they will know who Allah is number one they will know who you are as the parent and they will respect the community. They will respect the neighbors because Islam is the religion of love and peace. And where are they going to find this? In the Quran. A science teacher is not going to come and teach them to take care of you as a mother and father. 
No. So always, always make sure you give them the deen. With the deen, he respect the mother. With the deen, he respect the father. He serve Allah. He knows who the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is. And he respect the neighbor. He respect the neighbor, even if that neighbor is not a Muslim. Because Islam is a religion of respect. We don't teach our children about Islam. So what they hear from outside, they think is true. And you and I know Islam is a beautiful religion. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad is the ambassador of peace. He is sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Please listen to him. This is his teaching and this is what we are following. Irhamu man fil ardi, irhamkum man fil sama. Have mercy on those on the earth and the one in heaven will have mercy on you. This is the teachings of Muhammad. So we have to teach our children to be merciful to everybody. To the believer and to the non-believer. This is an Islam. So brothers and sisters, give thanks to Allah. Obey your parents and give your children their rights. Because Allah will ask each and every one of us, كُلُّكُمْ رَائِنْ وَكُلُّكُمْ مَسْؤُولٌ الرَّعِيَّةِ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ اللَّهُمَّ صَلِّ عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ جَزَاكُمُ اللَّهُ عَلَى خَي